Hey guys, it's Andy here, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a quick video response to one of Chris Perillo's videos um, from thelockernome.com. And the particular video I'm going to be talking about is uh, about online piracy. And uh, I'm not going to get into too big of a philosophical debate about the whole issue. I'm just going to basically just state certain key points and uh, get to uh, my opinion on the matter. And uh, anyway... Uh, Chris is asking if uh, online piracy will ever er, be uh, completely gone or uh, if it's even relevant today. And uh, my opinion is that I don't think that online piracy will ever completely go away, but I do know that its popularity, I guess you could say, has uh, waned in uh, the recent years with. Uh, Stuff like uh, Hulu, Netflix, iTunes, Bandcamp, Reverb Nation, and a host of other sites that would take me forever to name them all because there's just so many. Um, they've kind of eliminated the need to go out and download things through uh, less legal means. And uh, I think the whole thing with online piracy just began because uh, we were... As consumers, we were switching to uh, in-demand in content. We didn't want to wait for that song on the radio to be played, or you know, go out and you know order the album, you know, through mail and have it delivered to you in six to eight weeks. You know, we wanted the song now, and we didn't want to wait around. And you know, that's when peer-to-peer uh, -peer networks like uh, uh, like Napster and Kazaa and LimeWire and iMesh and Winamax and a whole host of other networks that, you know, have come and gone. You know, that's when they made their start, and then we switched over to BitTorrent, and then it's just evolved. And uh, I think uh, the whole big uh, justification with online piracy, at least for, you know, the people that I've hung out with, is that, well, it's not available through other means, so I'm just going to download it, okay? But now that, uh, you know, legal means are available for you to watch it or download it or whatever, you know, there's really no excuse for you to be pirating anything, really. You know, if you want that particular song by an artist, you can go on iTunes and get it. You know, if you want a video or a TV show, you can just watch it on Hulu or uh, Netflix, and uh, I'm trying to think. The uh, the other part of the whole issue is, uh, you know, what's the difference between pirating and sharing? That's the other part of Chris Perillo's video. And uh, I think the difference is, uh, I pretty much agree with what he says. And uh, you know, the difference between uh, pirating and sharing is that um, pirating is strictly, take, you know, take, take, you know, I'm taking your song and I'm taking your video and I'm not giving anything back. And uh, sharing obviously is give and take, you know. I take something, but, you know, I'll give something back, whether it's money, uh, references, you know, say, you know, recommendations, you know, recommend to your friends or whatever, something like that. So that's just my take on the matter. I can't wait to hear what uh, you guys have to say in the comments below. So yeah, night.